hello guys welcome to my channel click and design and in this video tutorial we are going to create the detail drawing or you can say the production drawing for this particular pulley as you can see we have a basic pulley over here with a collar and with a slot for the fixation purpose so let's start with the drawing process without wasting any time so first of all we will orient the pulley in according to the side view because from here we can see maximum details like the groove the thickness of the pulley and the diameter after placing the pulley in such a way we have to start uh, by going to file and make drawing from part select the sheet a3 landscape and click on ok then you have to select the units to be mm and now on the right side in the view palette we have this current view at the bottom just drag and drop over to the sheet and in the drawing view you have to specify the custom scale let it be one is to one okay so that is nice so here we have this pulley now to get maximum details of this uh, pulley we have to cut this pulley into half we have to use the uh, this uh, tool in the drawings uh, we have this tool broken out section so one thing more let's uh, measure the maximum diameter of this pulley is 180 mm so why I need this uh, dimension I will tell you now uh, let's go to drawing and broken out section in this broken out section let's draw a spline using this spline I can cut this pulley into half so the diameter of the pulley was 180 mm the maximum diameter to cut the pulley into half i will divide this diameter by 2 that will be 90 mm so in the depth i will specify the value to be 90 let's check the preview here we have the pulley sliced into half so now let's select the pulley and go to tangent edge and select tangent edges remove so so now we have this simplified section over here so as we know that the pulley is a circular body or uh, sorry it is a cylindrical body now uh, let's go to annotation and select center line and select these two lines or the edges click on ok so and uh, extend this center line a little bit now the section is ready uh, now we have to start with the dimensioning processes so for that let's begin with the maximum diameter first of all smart dimension and specify the top and the bottom edge and place this dimension over here i would like to place uh, some tolerance value with this particular dimension i not want that my design to exceed uh, from diameter 180 but i will like to give some tolerance uh, some negative tolerance here to uh, adjust with the production processes so, so i have selected the dimension now uh, in the tolerance for, uh, and precision here we have none select bilateral in this we have this negative over here you can specify the negative tolerance okay minus 0.10 mm click on okay so here we have this value ready now let's uh, move forward with the thickness of this pulley so for that again dimension smart dimension and select both of the edges here we have 50 again i would like to give some tolerance value and also i would not want my design to exceed 50 mm thickness so uh, uh, again tolerance precision select bilateral and here uh, you can specify minus 0 0.5 mm okay so it makes the uh, production of this pulley uh, very much easy by giving some tolerance values okay so this is done now let's specify the thickness of this uh, groove over here so smart dimension again and here we have this thickness the inner thickness okay now let's specify the angle for this v pulley so both the edges we have to select and just place the angle so here the angle is 34 but it is very difficult to maintain an angle like 34 so again we have to specify some 
kind of tolerance or we have to give some kind of tolerance to this angle so just uh, select this 34 degrees and in the dimension text we have to specify the tolerance values for this angle so let it be 34 plus minus 15 minutes so in this way we have specified some tolerance value for this angle also okay so that's nice now now again uh, what else okay so we have this bottom so we need to specify this bottom also the diameter of this bottom of this groove or the base of the groove so here we have this now here also again i will like to have some tolerance value let it be or let it be symmetric tolerance okay so this is done now uh, i need to specify the the starting uh, edge of this uh, you know groove so again smart dimension and uh, in this case let's start with this edge and this one and place it over here again some kind of tolerance i would like to prefer it's make it make easy uh, for the production purposes to to manufacture a part uh, when there is some tolerance value attached to a dimension so this is done this is done okay now we are done with the groove and now we need to define this uh, case or the color the dimension one dimension again and select the edges again here we have this value now mm, we are done with this we have some radius over here so let's define this radius value smart dimension place it over here leader custom text position and select the middle one broken leader horizontal text so here we go change the orientation of the arrow in this way now let's place it over here just drag and drop the edge of this arrow using the control key and place the second leader over here to specify both of the radius values so here we have this three we need to specify it over here also so again the process will be same specify the leader uh, to be custom text position middle one okay and again this one and just drag and drop the edge place it over here and click on ok so the radius value we have defined already the diameter of the pulley is defined thickness is defined uh, so now going on forward we have some chamfers we have uh, chamfers over here one two three uh, we have three chamfers and all these chamfers are same so let's specify the chamfer value for that again smart dimension uh, select both the edges and let's place the chamfer value over here 2 into 45 degrees as you know th that we have three chamfers 1 2 and 3 so we can just specify that we have three numbers of chamfers of size 2 into 45 okay so this is how it is done okay now one thing more we have to specify the depth of this groove over here so for this what we can do is uh, okay we can specify the depth over here select the edge and this one also you can place it over here so so i have specified the depth of this uh, groove over here so the groove is also defined the radius is defined and we have some minor uh, fillets or the circularity around this edges I will specify the radius value for this uh, fillets in the technical notes over here so no need to worry about this because if I'll start mentioning the radius of this fillets over here it will make the drawing more messy so let's not make the drawing uh, more messy and uh, let's go forward 
okay so i think now we are done with the maximum uh, details for this uh, uh, section or this view now let's define the details like the slots and the diameter of the hole over here for the shaft so for that what we can do is uh, go to drawing here we have projected view just project this view over here so after placing this view over here on the right side you can see that uh, we are not left with much space so we need to reduce this view uh, in this view we need only this much of the feature so we don't need the rest of the body so what we can do is we can crop this view for that we have one feature in the solidworks uh, drawing that is uh, crop view over here to start with the crop view first of all we need to go to sketch make a spline boundary across this feature like in this manner and then go to drawing here we have this crop view select this crop view and okay 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 so after having this detailed view let's start with the detailing process for this crop view uh, for that let's go to sketch select point and let's place the point over here okay uh, with the help of this point we can mark the height of this group for that again go to dimension sorry uh, annotation smart dimension here we have this point so we need to select this point over here okay and this edge so here we have this height for this slot now we are left with the width of this slot for that again annotation smart dimension and let's specify the width again i want to give some tolerance value for this uh, slot so that our key can easily fit inside for that i'm going to give a dim uh, tolerance on the positive side so that will be bilateral and here we have some positive tolerance over here plus 0.10 and okay so here we have some uh, positive tolerance over here so we will have some enough space so that our key can easily uh, adjust into this slot over here so the height the thickness is uh, defined already and also we have two small radius values over here so we need to define these values also so let's go to small dimension and here we have this one let's place it over over here okay now go to leader custom text position okay now again just drag and drop this leader over here also and click on okay so the radius value has been defined now we are left with only the central hole we need to describe the diameter for this now let's mark the diameter inside diameter for this hole for the shaft uh, so smart dimension and again select the inner boundary and place it we need the diameter for that again uh, select this sign over here so we have the diameter custom text position in this way and okay one thing more again i would like to specify some tolerance value for this diameter also so the diameter you have to select uh, and then in place of none select uh fit with tolerance okay so in this case we have this hole so it should be a sorry in this first of all we have to select the clearance fit and now we know that this is the hole so let's select the tolerance value for this hole let it be h7 so we have this h7 in the bottom so here we have h7 okay so the tolerance of this hole has been specified okay so let's check that everything is there or not so let's start with the maximum diameter this uh, bottom diameter this one this one okay this slot is done thickness is there the thickness of the groove is there angle is there okay okay one thing okay so in this case uh, everything is marked 
i think i have uh, mentioned all the dimensions all the detailings except for the surface finish uh, annotation so let's define the surface finish for this particular pulley uh, as you know that a uh, shaft is going to enter this hole so i want that this surface to be very much smooth so let's go to annotation and here we have surface finish and here let's specify the uh, value to be 1.6 and let's mark it over here so i think it will be more than enough to have 1.6 surface finish also uh in this v groove uh, a belt will be there so i also uh, should consider the surface finish for this groove over here so in this case again annotation surface finish now again let's specify uh, the value to be 1.6 okay so 1.6 and 1.6 now what you can do is just drag it to the bottom and this one also or you can just make some adjustments like this one okay so so it looks normal okay surface finish we are done with this so let's place it over here now let's uh, mark the general surface finish for this particular uh, detailed drawing so here we have in the title block finish right click over here here we have edit sheet format and uh, double click okay double click on this box and here we have the surface finish symbol insert surface finish symbol side you will see insert surface finish symbol okay so let's uh, insert the value to be 3.2 uh, maximum and okay okay so here we have this uh, value to be 3.2 after in this value 3.2 so after mentioning the value 3.2 just click over here and mention a symbol like this within brackets so it means the general surface finish for this detailed drawing or it means that uh, uh, the rest of the surfaces should not exceed the surface finish 3.2 okay because it is not possible to mention each and every surface finish in this drawing so for that we have this general surface finish in this uh, manner so after mentioning the general surface finish for this detailed drawing we need to specify the radius value over uh, here we have this radius we have to specify the radius value in a technical note over here for the technical note we have note in annotation just place it over here I write it in such a way technical note first point that radius equals to sorry 1 mm unless otherwise specified so in this case uh, in this case it, it will be clear that all the radiuses except uh, which we have mentioned uh, the their value will be 1 mm in case it is not mentioned in the detailed drawing so now i think we are done uh, doing with this detailed drawing for this pulley i hope you like this video if you have any doubt you can write uh, your doubts or any suggestion in the comments below thanks for watching